With jobs more plentiful and wages higher, slight sacrifice here and there, the omission of a few luxuries, all of these will swell the coffers of the federal treasury. Hello, and welcome to another Kids Connect video, where you can learn all about the history that's created the world around you. In today's episode, we're going to learn about one of America's most impactful presidents, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Let's get started. Franklin D. Roosevelt is commonly referred to as FDR. He was the 32nd President of the United States, from March 1933, until his death in April 1945. The early 20th century was struck with economic depression and world conflict, and his actions and policies left a lasting impact. Let's look at FDR's early life. He was born on January 30, 1882, in New York State. His parents, James and Sarah Ann, were wealthy and politically connected. FDR was an only child, but was also a distant cousin of Theodore Roosevelt. As a boy, FDR received the best education and earned a Bachelor of Arts from Harvard University. During this time, he met and married Eleanor Roosevelt, who was Theodore Roosevelt's niece. Following Harvard, FDR attended law school at Columbia University. In 1909, he passed the bar exam without a law degree. However, he didn't enjoy legal work and, in 1910, at the age of 28, FDR entered politics. He was elected to the New York State Senate as a Democrat. His early years as a politician were criticized, until he met Louis Howe, who was a reporter for the New York Herald. Howe acted as a political advisor and had a significant impact on FDR. After just two years in politics, Roosevelt campaigned with Woodrow Wilson for the presidency, even though his rival was Theodore Roosevelt. When Wilson won, FDR was appointed Assistant Secretary of the Navy. He was very effective in this role from 1913 to 1919. FDR's popularity and success grew, and he was nominated by the Democrats for vice president in 1920. Unfortunately, in 1921, Roosevelt got very sick with polio, which left him disabled and in a wheelchair. This experience saw him fund and direct a program called the March of Dimes, which would eventually develop a polio vaccine. In 1924, after spending time recovering, FDR was encouraged by Eleanor and Louis to go back to work. While the Democrats lost the election of 1928 to Republican Herbert Hoover, Roosevelt secured his place as governor of New York. Roosevelt then decided to run for president and began campaigning in 1930. By now, America was in the grips of the Great Depression. Hoover and the Republicans were facing criticism, but Roosevelt's work for New York made him more popular. He was nominated as the Democratic Party's presidential candidate in 1932 and he advocated heavily for government intervention in the economy, and to provide relief, recovery, and reform. On March 4, 1933, FDR was sworn in as the President of the United States, which was in bad shape. The Great Depression forced factories to close, and farm foreclosures. Banks had failed, and unemployment was rife. It was the worst crisis in America since the Civil War. FDR took decisive action with a series of programs under the New Deal, these included his famous alphabet agencies, like the AAA, for promoting and supporting farm prices, and the CCC to employ young men. He also introduced financial reforms to protect depositors' account information, and the Securities and Exchange Commission was established to prevent stock market abuse that caused the 1929 crash. In a double-edged sword, World War II broke out in 1939. The reforms of the New Deal and the suffering of the Depression were only really alleviated as a result of America mobilizing for war. While America remained neutral in the early years, FDR provided weapons, aid, and money to the Allies, which helped get the economy going. He also strengthened the military. Later in the war, America supported the Allies by invading North Africa in November 1942, Sicily in 1943, and Normandy, France, on June 6, 1944. This came to be known as the D-Day landings. By April 1945, with the added help of the United States, the Allies had secured victory in Europe. But the war was not yet over in the Pacific. With all the stress of the Depression and war, on April 12, 1945, at the age of 63, Roosevelt suffered a major brain bleed and died. 
The legacy of Roosevelt puts him in the ranks of America's greatest presidents. Not only was he the longest serving president, but he proved that disability would not get in the way of him achieving his ambitions. He was very popular with blue collar workers, labor unions, and ethnic minorities in the US. And he kept the nation informed with his iconic fireside chats. The rapid expansion of government programs during Roosevelt's presidency, helped redefine the role of government in the US. And Roosevelt's support for government social programs was influential in redefining liberalism for future generations. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this lesson, visit Kids Connect for fun and fact-filled worksheets on many more topics. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to be the first to know about new content. See you in the next video.